Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the one-handed mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Okay, today this video is on why the blades were cutting uneven after I installed a new set of blades on my tractor. And this guy came in and all he wants us to do is figure that out. So first thing we gotta do is take the mower deck off. I would definitely recommend, and this is for any tractor out there, it's not just for this tractor. This is, this is a video on how to find out why when you put a new set of blades on that it's actually not cutting even. And one of the big problems is the decks get bent. So we're gonna start by taking this mower deck off. And he said he put a new set of blades on it. So let's see what we got. Okay, so here is the problem. We have a gap that is as, as big as my finger gap. These blades are supposed to come across even when the blades come by the Merrick. Now, you can tell he was definitely cutting his grass like this and spinning the blades around. You always try to spin the blades around and see if they come by even. I always check both sides and they're coming around very off. So right here in the middle of your lawn, you're gonna have a half inch gap right here. So what that is, is I'm gonna take these blades off. We're gonna put them on top of each other to see if these blades are straight and if they're straight, then we definitely have a problem with the mower deck. So we gotta take these off. Okay, so what I did was I put the mower deck upside down on some blocks, all right? So you don't wanna have your pulleys hitting the ground when you turn your mower decks on upside down. And so I put a block here, a block here, and a block in the front. And what we gotta do is take these blades off and I'm gonna show you how to put them on top of each other to see if they're bent. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, if you have a lot of grass on top of the blades, make sure you scrape them off. This one, these are pretty good. And you can tell by looking at the blades that they're brand new, or at least they were new when you put them on because the slices in the blade right here, that's not from grinder, that's actually stamped from the factory. So what you're looking for is you put your blades on top of each other and you're looking to see if they come across even here. And it looks like you gotta flip them around and look at the other side too. It looks like this one might be a little bit bent because they're not sitting, it's kinda of hard to tell on video, but they're not sitting flush. But it's not that big of a gap. Then you flip them over, put one on top of each other, and the gap here, and you flip it around, and the gap here. They should be pretty much the same gap. Now that's why I put them on top of each other because when I put the other one on top of this one, we actually have a little bit of a play we have a little bit of a gap so that's telling me that one this blade probably with the big notch here is also bent even though this was a new blade and bent it, it we're gonna we're gonna use a new set of blades and i'm gonna show you that the mower deck is actually very bent these blades are definitely one is definitely a little bit off we're gonna show you a new set of blades in fact i'll put this guy a new set of blades on top of each other and then you have the gap here and you're gonna flip it around and the gap is pretty much the same. And then you flip it over, one on top of the other, gap is the same, flip it around and the gap is the same. Now we're gonna put the blade on here, blade on here. Now I'm not gonna tighten them down, but you can see how bad this gap is. This gap is literally a finger width. This is probably a good inch gap between the top and the top of this blade. So the deck is definitely bent. Now you're gonna say, okay, well, how do you straighten the deck out? The whole point of this video is how we straighten these decks out. It's not pretty, but the first thing you gotta do is you gotta figure out which side is bent, all right? And I can tell by looking at this, that this one is leaning down and that blade was leaning down. You also, before you go ahead and straighten the deck out, you wanna to check to make sure that your blade spindle is not bent. Now you can check it by putting, before we took, before we took this apart, we should have probably spun this, but spin your blade and take a look at the center of the shaft to make sure that it's not bent. You don't have to have the blade on there, it's just helping me. 
but you want to make sure that your spindle is not bent. You can bend your spindles, the shaft right here, the spindle shaft, and this one here. You just want to spin them and make sure they're not bent or wobbling. Okay, so we know that these are straight and we still have a bent deck. So what I do then is I pick the mower deck up and I look straight down on the pulleys and I can tell by looking at the pulleys straight up and down on the mower deck, which one is bent. Now on this one, we're gonna have to take off this cover here so we can look straight down on these. And you gotta be very careful because this mower deck has pulleys that stick out the back. So we're gonna actually lean this up. A block of wood right there. Okay, so I took the cover off and I'm gonna take this belt down and out of the way. And hopefully you're gonna be able to see this. But this pulley is facing up on this side. And this, you kind of have to, I look at this pulley and I look at this pulley and the other pulley is looking straight to me. I don't know if you can see this on camera or not, but it's definitely a big difference on the pulleys. Try to come above and show. Let's see if you can see, there you go. You can see that. Now we can definitely tell that this is what happened is the, the, the deck itself is bent right here. And that's because the blade got caught on something and it actually pushed the whole mower deck up. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is, since this is actually bowed up, we're gonna have to hit this side of the mower deck and we're gonna have to, we use a, a, a big, it's a big slap hammer and we actually will hit the mower deck on this side to make it go back to where it came from. Now what we're gonna have to do is, the correct way of doing this, believe it or not, is to replace your mower deck shell. That would, that would get you back to square one. In reality, nobody does that. So we have come, a, come across a way of being able to straighten these mower decks out without uh, replacing the whole shell. And it's basically just by feeding the deck back into position to getting it straight. And uh, let me show, that, show you how you do that in a minute here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, since we have to hit it from above, we're gonna take off the spindle itself and we're gonna take off this pulley so we don't damage the, uh, the aluminum the, the, the spindle the hub assembly itself is actually cast aluminum. And if you hit the mower deck without taking it off, you have a good possibility of breaking the casting on the, on the hub. So you wanna take, take it off. Now, because this hits something very hard, it's almost like a puzzle here. But as you can see, the pulley started to spin on the shaft. And it's like, you'll see when I get it off, it's like an octagon shape. It's almost like a puzzle, but it's it's actually so tight on there right now that we're gonna need a little, little bit of persuasion. We'll try tapping this a little bit, both sides. You gotta be careful because you don't wanna, you don't wanna bend your pulleys, but that's all it needed. But as you can see, it's like a little puzzle and you can see that this is like the shape of it is a puzzle and it actually spun in the hub itself it spun right on there and it kind of it'll still work you may want to see here's the there's your play so technically this guy should get a new pulley and we're going to get a pulley for him because that could spin again and once that spins and if it gets loose then he's just going to spin on the shaft and it's not going to work so we'll get another one of these Okay, so we're going to take the hub off. Now, all machines are going to be different. You're going to have, you name it, there are going to be things in the way to take off, but you want to take off your hub, and then we're going to smack this side down. we got to put it all back together again to check the blades. Okay, so now we can actually, it's a little loose there too. All right, so now we can, uh, you can't, you're probably not gonna be able to see this on the video, on the film, but you can see how it's raised right here because the mower deck just got, just got bent up from where the blade hit. So we are going to smack it down pretty good right here. And we use a, a, t a tool that I've had forever. 
Okay, so for years and years, I used this tool to actually break beads off of tires when I do a tire change. And I call it a slap hammer. Some people, I mean, I don't exactly know the, the name for this thing, but I, I'm pretty sure this is one of my newer ones. And I'm gonna put a link in the description below. I'm pretty sure I bought this off of Amazon. I will try to find it in my link. I'll put it in the link below. It should be there. But basically all this is, is a very heavy a slap hammer. And it's great for taking the bees off of your tires, but also this is how we do what I call the dealer adjustment on the mower deck. And what I want to do is, since I pinpointed the rays is right here where it got bent, I'm going to put a piece of four by four right there. And then I'm going to use the slap hammer and put your ear, ear um, plugs on because it's going to be loud. I just brought it down probably half of where it was bent. I'm going to do it one more time. Still up a little bit. It's hard to do this because you can't keep, you know, you have to put the hub back in, put the blade back on to check it. And it looks like it's still raised here. So I'm going to do it one more time. And then we're going to put the hub back on. All right, let's get the hub back on and put the blade back on and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I got the hub back in. We got the blades on. Now, first shot I got really really close we are less than a quarter inch off right here all right and i'm going to flip it around and granted i don't have the bolt i don't have the blades bolted tight because i'm just trying to get it really really close and then i'll bolt the tight their blades up and i always spin them around so we're about a quarter inch off but we're much better than what it was i'm not sure if you can be able to see that but right there they should be coming across even and they're about a quarter inch so we're going to do it all one more time and we'll be right back okay so after two times of removing um the hub and smacking on the other side we have gotten to this point where these blades are about perfect you can't get much better than that as far as evenness and then like i said just always make sure you spin them make sure we're even on all sides and they are all right so now you're pretty much just have to put your mower deck back together again i'm going to flip it over and show you guys that So right here is where we had the bend and we just used that block we used my slap hammer and we straightened it all out now taking this off i would definitely recommend taking your hub off because i have learned just from doing this for many many years that we used to try to do this without taking the hubs off and every now and then we'll crack a hub you don't want to crack these hubs they're expensive to replace um, it's just better that you take the take the hubs off straighten it sometimes you have to take the hubs off and you have to actually hit them from the other side but that's pretty much how we straighten the mower decks in my shop as far as uh, getting the blades side to side. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I mean, I, I'm, this is kind of a, you may think it's barbaric on how we do it, but if you don't want to replace your mower deck, we have to straighten the mower deck out somehow. And this actually works really well. It doesn't take that long to do. Uh, and we, we, get, we do it all the time here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, tell your friends about my channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Okay, I just want to show you guys something about these anti-skid wheels right here. These are anti-scalp wheels, not anti-skid, they're anti-scalp. Now, I did notice when I had the mower deck on the ground that these wheels were not even hitting the ground when the mower deck was actually scraping the ground. He may have hit something because these wheels were adjusted all the way up. You can see different notches of adjustment here, and we're going to pull them down one notch so these wheels should sit just below the mower deck here. So if you get to a, a spot in your yard where there's a, you know, a bump or something or a dip, these wheels are supposed to like be there, hit the ground. And so your blades don't get that close to the ground. That may have been one of the reasons why this mower deck actually has bent blades. So we're going to move these up one notch. You might want to check your mower deck. And also you don't use these wheels as the mower deck. You don't run them on the ground. You don't that you're not supposed to, these are anti-scout wheels. They're not designed to run on the ground. Unless you have a, a machine that has a mower deck that's designed to run on the ground with the wheels, most of them, 99% of mower decks, 
The wheels are anti-scout wheels, so remember that you don't want to run your wheels on the ground. If you are running the wheels on the ground to even out your mower deck cut, you have something wrong with your mower deck. Unless you have a strange application with the mower and it runs on the wheels, a lot, a lot of times um, the old snapper riding mowers had them where they ran on the wheels and the uh, old wheel horses. But today's machines all run with the anti-scout wheels just there so you can browse the ground and keep them from scalp scalping. That's why they call them anti-scout wheels.